All right, and we're back in here with the flip side and in Spider-Man Edge of Time. Woohoo, yeah! So, as you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better today. Alrighty. And yeah, so as you might have seen, I was at, uh, there was no video for Spider-Man last week or the week one of the weeks. One of the weeks there was no Spider-Man and no Deadpool yeah, because the of door. PAX the Australia. Woo! PAX Australia. <laughs> Best Parker, couple of days plan. of the year so far, really. <laughs> it's actually pretty exciting. But well, we better can. hang on. I'll better watch this cutscene. And you can give All right, so he's going to guide us to the archive room and get the information we need. I could look up the I love Excellent. Keep them out of don't no, you don't do that, you fool. By doing the that, you're going to cause more trouble. Learn from All right, of let's give him forward. Don't let him make mistakes. No, I don't want to skip, damn it. I skipped. Well, all I did was just skip a little bullshit cuts in between Peter and Miguel, but yeah. PAX Australia, I was an enforcer there. And if you came early in the morning and you're watching this video and enjoy the sound of my voice, you would have heard me all three days yelling and screaming at the top of my lungs, giving out programs. It was good stuff, good fun, had to, met some nice people, met some cool people. Um, didn't really get to see much of the floor, unfortunately, and I, you know, was enforcing most of the day, <laughs> enforcing in the queue room. Which meant watching people line up and then giving programs, then watching them line up again and giving out more programs, and then being ignored. Being ignored was fun. That was always a good day, to, good way to spend every day. Getting ignored by people. But yeah, it was good. I did see. I lied myself. I didn't see anything. I did see a couple of things. I ended up going to see World of Tanks a little bit. That was really, really exciting. I didn't really have time to line up because by the time I got there, it was like four o'clock. But you know. It still looked interesting, it was good fun to watch. <laughs> uh, there was a different game that I didn't really get to see much of because I was wandering the floor when no one was around. A little bit of enforcer trickery there. I didn't have to uh, line up to see nothing, which was good. <laughs> but yeah, ended up just seeing a couple of things. There was the... Oh, I don't remember the name of the game, but you paint your enemies was the main thing. I think it was Canvas like Warriors or something like that. Canvas Warriors looked really interesting. You just fighting stuff and you can paint them different colours to take over or not take over them. You know, your basic stuff. Do I break this? I'm gonna guess that I break this. Break! Yes. Take that, machine. Uh oh. And yeah, so here we see that there's two different Spider-Man suits. We've ditched the Iron Spider and the um, Bombastic Magman. That's what we had previously, Bombastic Bagman. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a little bit stupid. But yeah, so we ditch Bombastic Bagman and Iron Spider and take the flip side for 2099 and Secret Wars Spider Man for Peter Parker. Which is basically, well, we'll get, we'll get into that when we actually start playing as him, but flip side. Flip side is not a Spider Man. He's not anything spe spectacular or amazing. He's, oh Jesus. He's just a general Spider Man machine. No, he's a robot. He's a robot that was designed to just mimic all the abilities and the powers of anybody he comes in contact with. And then all the superheroes disappeared. That's right, they all took a little break and decided not to show up anymore, which put poor old Flipside into, you know, dormancy and remission. Bit sad, really. When you think about it, robot just wants to be someone's friend. <laughs> that's, what, that's what ended up happening. Rather than wanting to destroy anyone that he came in contact with, he wanted to be their friend because his mind got corrupted by being dormant for so long. Kind of sad. But that's the way it is, really. <laughs> and so Flipside is a little combination of Venom and Spider Man. Not really much, you know, that I know about him because my 299 comics uh, didn't end up coming. Turns out that sales on Amazon don't have to have what they're advertising. I got my refund, but didn't really get the comics that I wanted to be able to educate you guys a bit further. So, yeah, <laughs> this is Flipside. He wants to be Miguel O'Hara's friend, as far as I can tell, but then a lot of the time they just, obviously, he doesn't understand that and just wants to beat him up, which causes more problems and fights. So yeah, that's really it. <laughs> I mean, Flipside might be a one episode kind of deal, maybe two depending on how this one goes, but yeah, not really too exciting. I did notice that everyone seemed to enjoy the return of the Bombastic Bagman. I'm quite excited by that, I thought it was quite exciting. He's my favourite type of spy. Oh, God, I have a time limit. Um, let's not worry about fighting the bad guys there. Press B! Beep. Nice. Great. Maybe get fried or flattened. Oh well, fried or flattened, can't complain too much. At least you're not being, you know, decimated. Taking one tenth of your, you know, being taken away from you, that'd suck. Where's Wouldn't that it? Computer? Yeah, it would. Alright, is this the right floor? Yes. Let's get through this door. Ah, I don't want to generate time paradox, I want to open the door. Open. Time paradox. 
Ah, this is not gonna work. I die. I'm gonna die. Sir dead. Okay. Alright, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Run, flip side! Run for your life! You're so doomed. And you're gonna doom Peter in the process. You are not a very friendly robot, my friend. Not a very friendly robot at all. Anyway, so Pax. Yeah, that was, unfortunately, I don't really have much to report on Pax. I didn't see a whole bunch, and the stuff I did see was exciting. But not really my kettle of fish since I don't really have a computer. <laughs> That's the problem. Having a max sort of limit you to your excitement to these things. But yeah. I definitely did enjoy the look of World of Tanks. And sketch something or other, whatever it's called, I really don't remember. It was something along those lines. And there was a bit of, you know, a bit of hubbub around the expo hall about this thing. I don't know exactly what it was. There was some kind of company that makes internet videos. Uh, Rooster Teeth? Rooster Teeth. That was it. They were there. Uh, there was Jack, Gus, and Bernie. Yeah, Jack, Jack. It was Jack. Yeah, Jack, Gus, and Bernie. You know, I'm sure that's not too exciting for anybody who, you know, it's not... You don't want to hear about someone going to see them. You just want to see them yourself. And that's understandable, which is why I didn't see them. Decided not to queue up in that giant line for no particular reason, and don't regret it for a second. Look at this poor Spider-Man in the corner. Help! Help! Ugh. And all I'm doing is talking about some other production company that, you know, are popular already. Yay, go them! But yeah, that was that. Didn't see anything else super exciting. Yes, I get it, it's now or never. I understand. <laughs> Apparently Magic the Gathering did pretty well. Like, if you wanted to know who won the convention, unless someone people tend to do at E3, Magic the Gathering won. They managed to sell out of their local store, and, hmm, me, their second store, everything like that was... Oh my god, I'm not going to make it. What? What am I supposed to do exactly? Oh, there's an event here. Get off the wall, moron. Break the event. We've got 20 seconds. You're not going to make it in 20 seconds, because you have no... No! Go! Mm. You're fucking kidding. Seriously? You can't climb the wall? Doomed. We just doomed Peter Parker because you, you game, can't understand that when I climb the wall, I want to climb it all the way up and not just part of the way up. He's dead. He's gone. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Um. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what? So, that was vicious. I think Pete's dead. Oh, don't make me do this again. God damn it. Here I was, vamping for time, <laughs> trying to get... Alright, I get it, I know what I have to do. Ah, uh, you stupid... Uh, I can't skip, can I? No. Anyway, so the other things we saw, the other things we did see at PAX, was just a PC tournament. It was actually really exciting to watch the tournament. You know, live. Didn't want to watch them online because they're boring as shit. So, like a Let's Play. So, take from that what you will, but I don't watch live no, pre recorded tournaments because they're boring. Which is why I didn't watch the Evo tournament as well. <laughs> Saw some really, really cool cosplay. I wish I'd brought my video camera. I really intended to make a lot of different videos and just splice them in throughout the rest of my show. But, yeah, I left the camera at home while I was casting for my parents. Didn't quite realize that I was going to need it. And then when I did that, came back. Oh, yeah, cool, my camera's here. Forgot it again. And on the third day, I just given up because I was exhausted. It's amazing what standing around for 12 hours will do every day for you when you're, you know, a big fat fatty who does nothing all day. You know, yeah, that's. <laughs> that sucked. And I'm really disappointed that I also left my 3DS at home so I didn't get any street passes either. It sounds like, like looking back on it, it sounds like I'm just making up that I went. But I really did. I really, really did. I have the badge and I have the shirt and I have everything to prove it. I just. You know, stop saying you know. It's gonna be really annoying. But yeah, I just didn't take video like I wanted to, which is a bit disappointing. No, right. there we go. We got that open there. Open the door. Open it. I mean, if you think about it, Pete, really, you can just let the walls close in on you because you're not gonna stop them anyway. We just saw that. You can't stop them if we don't succeed. So come on, Android boy, you can make it. Yeah. Ugh, no, stop. Don't do that. Okay. What is this room? Seriously, it's a big library. They have three levels of libraries in this place. Who does that? I can't think of anywhere that would need three libraries. See? Okay, I get it. Go that way. Stop counting down. You ridiculous thing. I just lost three seconds. 
which, as we've learned in this little section, can mean the life and death of Peter Parker. Sucker. <laughs> but yeah, the other thing I saw in the Expo Hall was that Sanchi had a pretty good booth. Was it Sanchi? It was Sanchi, not Hanabi. Hanabi is a different company. Sanchi. Sanchi had a booth there and they managed to... Oh my god. Okay. Ah, this is not going to work. That did work. Cool. But yeah, Sanchi was there. They have a lot of cool shirts and badges and stuff. And you want to check out their range at Sanchi.com. And... Ooh. What the hell? What is going on? Did we just suck him into an alternate portal thing? No, we didn't. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> American dream. But yeah, if you want to check out, check out their range, they have Pokemon badges, shirts, stuff like that, I think. Uh, oh no, I don't. You know, the video, uh, the shirt I'm wearing in Play Drinking Quest is from Sanchi. It's the Stormtrooper walking the walkers. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's in the video, and that's from them. It's really good. They've, the prices are pretty reasonable considering they're going to ship. It takes a little while to get here. But they have a lot of cool props and stuff. Oh, not props, what am I thinking? Badges and icons and stuff from really popular games. And if you wanted to check it out, I'm sure they'll be back next year. A little bit of insider info there. There's probably going to be a PAX next year. Maybe. Considering how quick it sold out. Just saying. What the hell? What I... I should really start paying attention to what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I've got to probably... Yeah, of course it did, Pete. You moron. Alright, press B. Run away! Jeez. Alright, let's go to a hypersense mode. Oh, goody. It, I wasted it. Woohoo! But yeah, and the other thing I bought, well, the only other thing I bought besides some t shirts and stuff like that, which I might show in some videos, you know, just wear them in a video. I'm not going to show a video. This is what I bought from PAX. Because that would be lame and silly. Mm. On to the next and then the other things I bought are t-shirts and I'm probably going to wear in videos in the future. I'm wearing one right now as a matter of fact. Ooh. And a Spider-Man comic. Yay! The first 40 of the Ultimate Spider-Man series, which would have been really good to have when I was playing Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions. Now that I'm playing, uh, whatever yeah, this is, no, nope, can't get that one. Yeah, now that I'm playing Edge of Time, probably need to have Amazing Spider-Man like and Spider-Man 2099. I'm but to you, so Ultimate Spider-Man is um, is really good. It's actually my favourite version of Spider-Man. Well, in comics form, in TV form, it's the 1994 series, the best series ever. Thanks. But the irrelevant. I'm sure be <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, it's set in the Just Ultimate Universe, which has a lot of similarities to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, except for Iron Man. Seriously, Iron tricks. Man looks pathetic. Great. Just go check out any of the Ultimate Alliance Let's Plays, or I started playing as Iron Man. Shit. Are they out? I don't know. I doubt it. Somewhere around here. I really wish we hadn't recorded most of that in one weekend. <laughs> and that's probably bad, because you guys now know that we recorded most of it in one weekend, and it's all done. As far as I know, Ultimate Alliance is done. I haven't gone back and checked the audio yet, because Daniel... We had a new mic system that was clipped onto Daniel's beard. And as you might know, Daniel's beard is pretty bushy. And pretty annoying when it scraps up against the mic, so hopefully it's finished. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through the whole game again. Mm -hmm. From the last few episodes that have come out, I don't know for sure. You can see that we don't enjoy that game that much. Stop it! I missed me! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're safe. But yeah, you can see that we're not exactly enjoying that game so much anymore. It was good fun in the beginning, and then towards the end it started getting pathetic. Alright, fine, Time Paradox. Fuck you. Alright, stop it, Pete. So yeah, that's... Oh, no, 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 no. Run away. Run away. Don't... God damn it. Swing! Jump! Okay, where am I headed? Because I already have the key. Key, 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 key. Oh my god, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you joking? Ah, oh, phew, I got the key. Excellent. But yeah, we didn't enjoy the game too much. And we're going to rage and scream and hate the game. And the episode that just came out last week, Daniel kind of quit. And it was just me playing for a little while. Me playing as Deadpool. The fantastic, amazing, awesome Deadpool who is overpowered and destructive <laughs> in every sense of the word. But that doesn't make much difference because it's still a good character to have. So, Secret Wars Spider-Man. This is something I know a bit more about than I do about Flipside, thank God. 
Secret Wars Spider-Man is a redesign for, well not even a redesign, just a new oh, costume that Nick Fury gave to Peter Parker to be Spider-Man in his Secret War against Latveria. That's right, Nick Fury had a Secret War against Latveria without the consent of the US government. Didn't tell Pete, didn't tell Wolverine, didn't tell Daredevil, Matt Murdock, that's his name. Didn't tell him, didn't tell any of them actually. Just sort of figured they'd know that he was lying. <laughs> and it actually resulted in him getting removed as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And the in-state... in-station? Re well, now you get reinstated. But the position went to Tony Stark. That's right, Tony Stark. The one and only. <laughs> so he takes over the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. just as uh, the secret was end. Because, you know, Nick Fury goes against an American... Or a S.H.I.E.L.D. friend in Latveria, or where the, you know, Prime Minister was still evil. Stop saying you know. But the Prime Minister was evil. And all that happened was they got a new design, and this is it. As you can see, it's much... No, you can't see, because we're going to jump out of there. Are we going to get back into there at any point? Anyone? Okay, the force field should be down by now. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. But yeah, as you can probably see when I stop beating the crap out of these guys in Hypersense, it's much darker than the bright red and blue of Spider-Man. Much, much darker. Which means it's much more seated. Suited? Seated. God damn, I died. Nice color though. Look at that. Look at that nice look there. Great. No! Ah, oh, bloody hell. Anyway, much more suited to stealth than traditional Spider-Man. Bye, Paradox. Why? Because screw you, that's why. But yeah, in there, but yeah, you did, but yeah, yeah. See, easy, nice, crawly. In all honesty, I don't understand if you're going to be secretly invading somewhere, why you wear a suit that still has your logo on it. I would just wear an all black suit, like not even just the not the black suit, just an all black suit, with no logos, no identifying marks, just to be like, yeah, I'm just someone that happens to have the same powers as Spider-Man. Blame Venom. It's all Venom. It's always Venom. I digress. <laughs> I digress though. Secret Wars is a pretty cool little storyline. That might be covered later in a different episode of a We Play, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> As someone who knows, it will be. Just, you know, just gonna throw that out. God damn it, now I have to wait. But yeah, it's gonna be covered in something later on in the future. I don't know what, but Daniel and I will cover it since we're both. Well, I love Marvel. And I love talking to people about it, and he's the only person who talks to me about it properly. So we are going to cover it at some point, so be prepared. Just be ready to watch nothing happen, nothing exciting at all. <laughs> uh, there are some people who believe the Civil War was preceded by the Secret War, which is true. There's a couple of storylines and a couple of things that would suggest that even further. But we'll get, we'll get into that when we actually cover the Secret War. For now, I'm just going to beat the crap out of them. No, I'm going to run away from the Drawbots, because I don't need to beat the crap out of them. I can just run, and it's so much better. Open up door. Yes, fear my security. voice. He'll have a pass. I'm sure. The other side of Pax was, I had a megaphone. Yeah, they gave me a megaphone. Which is why you would have heard me for the mornings of all the three days, going off my face, yelling into the megaphone. I bet you can't handle this. I bet you that I can't. I have to say, there wasn't, oh, as much as I did see some really cool cosplay, there wasn't a whole lot of cosplay going on. There was, the best one had to be the Portal, um, Portal Let's Play, Portal Let's Play, Portal Cosplay of the pregnant lady in a wheelchair. She, obviously being pregnant, couldn't really walk around that much, and she was due literally the days of PAX. That week, she was due. But her and her husband just, that wouldn't, <laughs> not gonna stop them. They decided to dress her up as Chell, Chell, Chell. Whatever her name is. The main character from Portal. Decided to dress her up as that and the husband up as a scientist with a giant Portal Cube backpack. I must say it was really, really cute. Like, someone would do that. I can't say for certain that I would do that. I would just go, no, you are pregnant. You are staying home. We can miss out on packs. But that's just me. And my personal opinion of, hey, let's not put anything in danger to the baby. But who cares? It was good. It was cute. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. Uh, there was a lot of other stuff, some, a lot of assassins from Assassin's Creed, uh, some people I didn't recognize, a really cool combination cosplay, the oh, combination cosplay where 
Wait, hold on. How do you really put it? There was Iron Man, which is awesome. There was a really good Iron Man costume walking around, Iron Man in a war machine. And then an Iron Man combined with Link from The Legend of Zelda. All he did was... It was Green Iron Man, really. Green Iron Man with the Master Sword and a shield, which didn't make any sense. Because if you're going to have the Master Sword and the shield, or Master Sword and shield, you don't need the Iron Man suit. And if you have the Iron Man suit, you don't need the Master Sword and shield. Just putting it out there. Not exactly the, uh, you know, <laughs> god damn it. Not exactly the most appropriate cosplay, if there, isn't, if there is such a thing as appropriate. Not exactly the most realistic, but it was still cool. It looked really awesome. <laughs> Just trying to think back to what else did I see, because this is actually the week after PAX. That's right, I am home and have no idea. What the hell? No, how do I get the big hammer? Big hammer! Too bad he's far away. Punch, 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 punch! Wham, 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 wham. Awesome. Where do I go? Green. Green? Do I go up? I do go up. So I could have just gone out this vent. What a waste of time. Man, that sucks. Uh oh. Oh, thank god. Didn't have to do any of that hyperspeed nonsense. Not yet! I was, till things started shifting. I must say, they put a lot of work into these suits. It actually looks really, really cool. I never really would have thought that it would... That anybody doing these alternate suits puts any care into them, especially looking at some of them and you go, really? That is your best effort there? But looking at this one, it's actually pretty cool. It's very sleek. What happened to the door? Okay. Whoop. Uh-oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Get out of the way. Okay. Okay. Alright. Ah, no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop treating me! I'm not the bad guy! I'm not the bad guy! Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Hi, boss! Okay, let's try that again. Swing! Alright. Okay. No! Damn it. I fucked up. I fucked up. Good. Uh, there we go. But yeah, look at this. It's actually got a lot of detail. Oh, no, no. It's got a lot of detail to it. Can we get back in there? Thank you. Stop that. No, no, no. There we go. Look at that. Tons of detail in there. Even the wrinkles in the suit. That's really cool. But that's just me. From someone who honestly has no idea what they're talking about. Ah, shit. Did I just screw up again? No, I didn't. Press the button. Quick. Quick. Open the door. Secret War Spider-Man. Yes, awesome. Get in there. Okay, keys. Where are the keys? <laughs> and what are those things? That seems like really poor management in terms of Alchemax itself. They don't seem to do anything. They're just expending fuel for no reason. Please tell me they're not bad guys. Okay, awesome. Access the future restricted area. Is it not restricted now then? Stay there, key man. You're dead. You are dead. Three security passes to access this door. Bang! One down, two go. Oh no. At least there's no time limit this time. That was annoying. Look at this. What a waste of money and resources. This thing does nothing. Who's running this company? Whoever you are, you're running into the ground. You deserve to lose your job. No, that's a window. Okay. Window's gone. Okay, how's that? Would have been nice to know that was coming. You... Wish, Miguel. Seriously, I was on the window. You could have warned me. Hey, Pete. Just so you know, I'm going to be opening up the window. Be aware. Just don't be on the window. Come on, giant robot. No, no, run away. No, I was using hypersense. You piece of crap. There he is. Bang! 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 Bang, 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 No, this is not Deadpool. This is Spider-Man. Which, Deadpool will be up this week as well. Just so we know. Um, I've caught up. <laughs> Last Friday it came back. I didn't completely lose it. But so this week we're going to be bringing it back again. Oh, come on. <sighs> I have to wait. Woo! Yeah! Oh. Where am I? I should be swinging okay, around. Woohoo! It's a start. I can get to the second floor. I'll let you know when I need to Okay, others. you can get to the second floor. Let's get into the second floor then. 
Hey, 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 dude. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, man. Uh, 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 time paradox. You gotta stay there. While I beat up your, your big friend here. Anyway, why did I mention the ultimate Spider-Man? What? That's not... Oh, wrong game. That's not teleport. Why did I mention the ultimate Spider-Man comic book that I bought? Because it's actually really cool. It's... Oh, fuck's sake. Seriously? Fuck you. Oh. Um. I might... Uh. Whoops. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff. On this show. I do have a public facing job that doesn't... Seriously, giant robot? Screw you! Just almost die. Oh, there we go. Okay, giant robot dead. Awesome. Okay, next floor. Bloop. 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 <laughs> Don't you be aiming at me. Oh no. Not all the floors at once. Oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. But it was really, it's really interesting. It's really good. It obviously, the new Amazing Spider-Man movies seen to be set in the Ultimate Universe, much like the other or the more appropriate cinematic ones like Iron Man and Thor. Okay. Even. Obviously I haven't been having a very good morning. <laughs> but yeah, they're set in, it seems to be set in the Ultimate Universe, especially considering the Electro teaser that came out a couple of weeks ago, oh, a couple of days ago. I actually don't know, I saw it a couple of days ago, I don't know when it came out though. But yeah, the Electro teaser looks similar to the episode 7 of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Might want to go check that one out if you want to know more about him. Yeah. Plug that. And that was off the top of my head, I actually didn't plan that at all. <laughs> but yeah, they look a lot more like they Seriously? Uh, I should take up your advice, Miguel. I'm going to say shock instead of the other. Great. Now I'm on the ground. Okay, how's that? Nope, not going to stick around here. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, so Jamie Foxx is playing Electro in the new The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is cool. That's actually probably a good mix for that character. But just, I'm interested to see how they design, how they go with the design on that, considering what that Electro is and does, compared to the actual Amazing Universe, where he's just a dude in green tights. Similar to how Loki is just a dude. Just a dude in green tights, except they changed that a little bit for, obviously, the Avengers and stuff like that. So it should be interesting to see how they manage to roll with it, considering. Considering? Yes, considering is the right phrasing, I suppose. I'm excited! I don't know what his role is going to be exactly, but it's going to be cool. He definitely wasn't the Shocker. That's one thing that needs to be pointed out. Shocker, whilst he has electric powers, or he has a suit that gives him electric powers, doesn't look like that. Also doesn't sound like that. No, it's also pretty pathetic right if it comes down to it. <laughs> I don't know why they made Electro and Shocker, considering they're basically the same type of character. But they did, and Electro is much, much more well known. For example, in the Marvel Heroic Role Playing Sir, game. Yes, not Mar not Marvel Heroes, but the basically the Marvel D and D. Basically. Anyone who plays the game will be upset with me that I said that they're the same thing, but they're not. They are very different. But anyway, like that, the first thing that you do is fight Electro, essentially. If you if you follow the book, you know, the book thing and all that nonsense. But yeah, so that's that. You face Electro, you don't face Shocker. Shocker is pathetic, and Shocker can't fly. No, I can't get him from here, can I? Can I? No, I can't. Damn it. Oh, and I can't heal. I don't know what happened there. Can't heal, and I'm in danger. So let's just go punch stuff. Punch, 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 punch! Run away! Run away! Hit and run! Hit and run! Okay, hyper is back on. Hit and run. Hit and run. Over. Yes! Break him! Run! Run away! hyper -sense attack! Yes! I got this. He's down. He's mine. Oh, no, 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 just keep moving. Hyper sense. Okay. Patink. 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 Ha ha ha. Scary. You're there, robot. If you die and give me health, I won't have to destroy you as much. Oh no. Oh god, he's right here. Hyper sense. Ha <laughs> It's scary. I don't want to have to do this again. I've already failed enough times today. Hyper sense. Okay. Woohoo. Swing in. 
Punch, punch, punch! Yes! I have the keys. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Hypersense. Key. Run away. No, not fair. Not cool. Hypersense. Run in. Run in. I shouldn't have put this on hard. I should have just left this on easy. Ah, run. Or normal. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of superheroes, the other thing that happened last week was... Or oh, this week? I don't know how you guys are going to time this, but the week before this came out. Comic-Con was also on at the same time. Oh, thank God. I survived. Huh. 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 Hmm. Comic-Con was also on last week. The week before. Same time as PAX. And there was a bit of an interesting announcement there, or from somewhere around the same time. Infamous Second Son on the PS3 will never, or will not, have Cole McGrath. Not at all. Ooh. Okay, I'm here, so how do I access it? Well, you press a button that says access. L-Y-L-A. Lila, of course, is Miguel's not love interest, but just his house, basically AI house sitter. Think of Jarvis from the Iron Man movies. Request acknowledged. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Let's go over the starter procedure. That was really easy, actually. You should be concerned there, Parker. Well, he really has a lot of handle on this future technology, doesn't he? Look at him. Oh yeah, this is exactly that. This is exactly that. It's almost as if he would have, you know, he's seen the system before. Oh, death. What's wrong? Who's death? She dies. Of course she does. Right there at Alchemax. Oh well. For shock's sake, Parker, what part of the book run in the archives was unclear? You don't go into the archives. That's how you learn things like that. It's what? Learn things that you don't want to learn. I've got enough to deal with. You can't do that. You can't just this is so stupid. Why would you look? Hey, I'm trying to focus on what's important. What's important is, is not you know what's important. You're important. Your thing is to fix the future, not to let if someone you just, that, you know, you God damn it, not to make another Spider-Man go back it, and do the, the wrong thing by trying to save someone else. Is meaningless without her. Well, you're not, your future's not the only one. This Let's be honest. Huge mistake. Who cares about Peter Parker's future if it comes down to it at all? Shocking right you do. Why would you do that to yourself, Miguel? Why? I just don't. I mean, uh, I just don't understand. Must have been crazy to think about staying here. I, I wonder what else he's looking up in those nature, archives, though. Then I need because he's not. To be there to help he's me. he's not doing what he's told to do. He's not fixing anything. The other thing, if you fix it, maybe she won't die. What's the point of saving, doing all this, save he's her, then fix everything else, and then finding out that she died anyway? And what's Mary Jane look like? Ooh. <laughs> nice. I like that. Sure what does she look like anyway? What's she doing in Alchemist? You know what? Does she work here? We are gonna no, go she for was just up with me. a long episode. We're oh god. Do, 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 do. Calm down. We're gonna go for a long episode this week. You guys didn't get an episode last week, so let's go for a bit of a long one today. Sound good? Sounds good to me. I like it. Do, 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 do. Take that, abomination tentacles. Fuck you. That's right. If we're gonna do this, oh! Oh god. No, 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 no. Not fair. It's not my fault I'm faster than you, you stupid things. Press B! Quick! 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 Ah, oh, there we go. We're good. Get back in there before it comes in. Whoop. Hmm. Oh, there she is. There she is. Run, Mary Jane! Parker, I see her. And she's of course she's here. Well, of course she'll be looking for him. She Are you retarded? Well, she's not dead, She'd be looking for him because he's Spider-Man in a situation where there's danger. Any situation where things Peter's around, oh, he'll save me because that's the kind of character she is. She's useless. She serves for nothing more than to cause trouble with Peter. Alright, are you going to do anything? Oh, I need to break time. get both animals. Can I destroy that guy? No. Oh, these are genetic um, in different things. Definitely not humans. That's all I can really say about that is they're definitely not human. Like, not in the least. Oh, wow. I know that. I probably should pay attention to my health instead of paying attention to the not humans. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And open the door. Come on. Now, my question to all this, how does she keep getting so further and further away? Wait, who are you? Seriously. I don't care, just help me. Yeah, he looks exactly like Spider-Man and I'm going to run away from him. Even though my boyfriend is Spider-Man and I know this. I know that he's Spider-Man. <sighs> Some people are just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Yeah. The other side of that Ultimate Comic Book is something that wasn't in the one that I bought, but in one that I bought a while ago called Spider-Man. 
Peter Parker dies in the Ultimate Universe. Oh, spoiler alert. Peter Parker dies in the Ultimate Universe, so take that. And some kid takes over for him. Which is sad, but at the same time, good. That someone, that time someone else took over as Spider-Man in the same time period as Peter. And the whole world knows. The whole world knows about it. It's really easy. It's really good. Run! Run away! <laughs> yes, 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 get it. Yes, falling debris, who cares? Let's, we don't have a time limit yet, so it's not a big deal at the moment. I need to get up there. Alright. Oh, oh, too far. Uh, there we go, lands it. Up. Shoot. These things, right here. Are you kidding? What? What? Okay. Ah. Gone, gone, and gone. Oh, that was close. Okay. Do I then get these ones? Must have gone down that hallway on the third floor. I do get those ones. That was silly. That was. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. You're running away from the person trying to save you. And somehow, getting past those obstacles. I'm trying to keep it how does that keep happening? I don't understand how this... In any game, or Temple movie, or the person you're chasing is always like getting away. Is oh, and by the way, I'm not fighting these guys, as you've noticed this game. This, this, this one is about finishing. It's not about finishing with style. And it's not about showing you guys how the game works. It's about me finishing this game on hard mode. Basically, this is a self-serving achievement guide. Woo! Yeah! Achievement guide! Something we never do! Oh my gosh. That woman needs her um, hearing check. Oh, oh, oh. Stop to fight these things. <laughs> there may not be anything. Okay then don't stop! Woohoo! And up. Awesome. Do I get in this way? No, I have to get in that way. Terrific. Swing! Uh haha! <laughs> Crawl up these flags. Yes. Well. They put a lot of work into the costumes, they didn't put a lot of work into the everything else. Go away. Seriously? What a silly, tremendous waste of time. Where do I go now? This spider sense thing is amazing. All video games should have this. Just, this is your objective. Head to it. I know a lot of the, oh, I know Dead Space does, which is really cool. It's just a really nice, this is where you're going, in case you forget, or in case you just don't want to listen because the story is boring as hell. Which is pretty similar to what's happening right now. Yeah! We're here! Swing! Help. Wow. Help. If you want help, stop running away! You again. At first uh. I thought you were... Well, but he's not. He's not Peter. At all. Move different. Uh. He did? What? How am I supposed to get over there now? Alright, this one, obviously, whoop! Then, nope. Maybe. Okay. You... Nope, not what I wanted. Um... Huh. Uh, Spider-Man thing. Wall crawling! You know how I mentioned earlier, in one of the earlier episodes, that wall crawling and this is really good? I lied. I was wrong. It's really bad. <laughs> it's tremendous... Alright, it's tremendously bad. Beek! Three. Takes three web blasts to the face. I mean, if I took web blasts to the face, I'd be pretty pissed off too, so I can imagine why three would be the magic number. Okay. That looked dangerous. I wonder what's down this vent. Nothing. Oh. And here I thought if I fell down the vent, I'd die. That's just embarrassing then. Um. Alright. So let's just keep shooting webs until we hit the thing we're supposed to be hitting, I guess. Do, 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 do. Bam. Come on, just don't cover me up again. Well, uh-oh. That's gonna change. No, not gonna change. She's still gonna die. Save her, Miguel. Yeah, jump and fall. Flip side. Falling after the falling elevator. <laughs> well, it should be changing. Well, that's better than fall with having debris falling on her. Yeah. Gee, he's such a little pins, isn't he? Oh, she dies in an elevator crash. I can't see them before they get here. That's ridiculous. 
Okay, I can see the little holes where they might show up, but they could can it hold A to speed up. You mean like I was before you ch No! Yeah, hold A to speed up, just in case you weren't already doing that, and that was the cause of all your problems. Uh, as we learned in the Deadpool episode and, you know, the previous episodes like this, these are not my forte. I'm terrible at these types of levels in games. Oh, wait. Fry. Uh. Seriously? Uh. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Alright, we got it, we got it. That's an elevator, we can do that. Just grab onto it. Grab onto the lift, and that's not actually helping. And this isn't helping at all. Seriously, you have webs. Just web. No! Mm. How does he know something? Yeah, no change. Because nothing's happened. Oh. Seriously? What on earth are these tentacles doing? Like, what is their logical purpose behind doing all of this? I don't understand. Why would they be doing that? Like, oh, he might be coming this way. I better cover it up. I don't, don't care if she lives or dies, it's not... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> That's what it comes down to really, I suppose, it does. Seriously. Where was the warning for that? None! No warning! Awesome! Bloop! Bloop! There it is, get the lift. <laughs> what you get, Mary Jane? Everyone knows if there's an emergency, you don't take the elevator. Sprint's on there, if there's a fire. Fire also counts as an emergency. Come on, get it. No. Are you serious? No change. Oh, it's changing again. Here we go. Actually, nothing. What does that mean? Honestly, I think she wasn't important enough to be remembered. Dun dun dun. That means that there's no trouble at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I don't understand this at all, actually. You're in the future, Peter. Parker, you're in the future. Ah shit. He's not reacting fast enough! I died. Me, you're in the future, you're in 2099. That means that you don't have to worry about it, because she's been dead for at least 50 years! Seriously? What the hell? This is ridiculous! Okay, we're around that. Alright, there's... I'm dead again. I have, I have nothing to say about this game. I can't even use my accelerated decoy or anything like that to try and get around it. So it's just, hey, screw you! This is just ridiculously tough. And this time, yeah, there we go. You got it right that time. Yeah, you have to know the pattern. Like you can't even, you couldn't do this your first time without screwing it up. There it is. Okay, there we go. Get the elevator. Come on. Just fall faster than a piece of metal. You can do that. This isn't a vacuum. You must fall faster than B. And bam. Hmm. How about the guy who's trying to help you? It's a good idea, isn't it? Oh yes. We all know that's exactly how it will work. Thank God, she's down. I got her. She's okay. Oh good. Let's you know web swing with her. She's used to it since she's dating Spider-Man. This means a lot to me. We get it, it no means problem, a lot to you. And she didn't die. Come on. On this day. You out of here. Just yet. Hey, you're talking to Peter right now? Yes. And you got some sort of cell phone <laughs> into that mask? A cell what? Yes, let's go with that. I mean, a cell phone. Uh, sure. That's That'll do. It. Idiot. Can I? You'll have plenty of time no, to talk to him. No, you cannot talk over. to him. You'll have your whole lives to Look at that suit. Okay, that suit's not going to come say. off. <laughs> I don't quite think she understands that that suit is pretty well just a body covering thing. Guy it's covered in electricity. Your own successor to the name. Good. Thanks. I'm glad. Do 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 do. Walk 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 walk. Enough with the thanks. You ready? Come home. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm ready for. Um. Say so what? Well, hello. How much rejection is a girl supposed to take? That's definitely a black cat. I was praying I was wrong. Felicia. She's um. What they definitely. Do? Help me, spider. <sighs> They gave me an Old? <laughs> I suppose is the way of putting that. Because this is, you know, 2099, not 1999. Oh god. 
lying. Well, the real Felicia, Black Cat's definitely back. Never let them, never let them what? Never let them touch you and this? make you crazy, you, you stupid crazy lady. Either. After what you did, I How did she just care what happened. He doesn't know who you're talking I don't about. Know what you're talking about. Well, well. Either I haven't. That's. I have no idea if I have to do the holy thing again. Actually. No, that's a good place to end. Screw it. That's a good place to end. You got us, we've had a super long episode this week. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. It was fun. I had fun. We had a quick look at Flipside and Secret Wars Spider-Man. Next week, we'll have a different set of Spider-Men and back to our regular scheduled length of episodes. Goodbye.